There's a guy that works with me in it. Um, he plays the doof in that one, kind of, in that, in that act. Uh, and it's always a lot of fun. I really enjoy watching him perform. He's performed all over. He's toured the country. He's toured the world. He's been on cruise ships. He's worked the castle. He's worked every major venue that you probably can as a magician. And tonight, he's going to share with us his performance. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Mr. Steve Mattel. All right. <laughs> How's everyone doing this evening? Woo! Woo! Okay. Well, let me explain to you how to enjoy my portion of this show. Keep your standards low. <laughs> well, you know, you got to see a lot of magic tonight, and they say nothing is impossible. I heard people say that, and tonight is pretty much proof of that. I do nothing. I do the impossible all damn day. Let me ask you. Do you know why you never see elephants hiding in the trees? They can't climb them. Because they're that good. If you're ever good enough to see one, keep an eye out for Hoffa, Kennedy, and Elvis. And my real father. Why do people say, oh? oh. oh. I have to get myself convoobulated here. Take your time, we got all night. I sure will. <laughs> I practiced this for hours and hours, weeks and months, so that you can spend the rest of your lives trying to forget it. <laughs> Talk about rehearsal, I should have rehearsed with the jacket on. Would it make this a lot smoother? Just suck it in, it'll be all right. Nope, some mustard. Oh, I almost forgot. I was supposed to... I was supposed to spruce up the act with some animals, so come on, little flower. Thank you. I like that. It's pretty cool. Come on. Relax. He's not real. He used to be real. All this time, I didn't prepare. <laughs> One trick pony, folks. Never eat the little tomatoes when they're green. 
I'm sorry, you want to see some real magic? Well, I'm a feral magician. So much for that. You guys enjoyed the food tonight? Got some yes. good food here. I went to a restaurant the other day, went into the bathroom, there was a sign over the sink that said, Employees must wash hands. I stood there 20 minutes. I finally did it myself. <laughs> now, I don't want you getting the wrong idea about this show. I want you to know exactly where my act is headed. <laughs> and see, you're already de developing misconceptions. You're looking up here and thinking, what is this guy doing with a roll of paper towels? This happens to be a roll of very rare, very special magic paper. And I've gone to the great expenses to have my paper perforated into nice, neat, four-inch squares. I bet you've never seen anything quite like that, have you, sir? Yeah. Show them, tear off a piece of magic paper. You're looking for instructions? Tear off a piece of magic paper. That's for the remedial magic. Show them, ladies, can do this. Tear off a piece of magic paper. Just one square. Very good, very good. Follow the lines. You tear off a square, you guys can share. No, oh, you're sharing. Oh, we're sharing. <laughs> this young lady, you're going to represent this group. Hold on to that, it's very valuable. You hold on to that. Speed this up over here. There's one for Dana. We don't get to tear our own. Oh, thank you. He's tearing them up for us now. Got time. <laughs> Got to do time. Thank you. This gentleman here, hold out your hand, stick out a finger, good choice. This gentleman here is going to be the keeper of the role. Oh, Mindy, could you come up here and help me, please? Oh, okay. Could you come up here and help me, please? It's really easy. Come right up here. You can take the stairs and go the long way if you want. Hi, what's your name? Ramona, Ramona, I got a very important job for you. Okay. Everyone hold up your pieces of individual magic paper there, individual pieces of magic paper. <coughs> okay, I'm about to choke to death, it's all right. You're gonna go around to each person. You're gonna make a nice, neat stack of magic paper in your hand. You're gonna bring those right up to me. In alphabetical order. According to age. <laughs> A lot of people after my shows, they ask me questions on how I got started in magic. Well, when I was very little, my father went off to go look for work, and I actually never saw him again. Later on, I got into magic, and I was traveling around the country in an auditorium in a small town, and there was a man who was standing up through the whole show. At the end of the show, people were coming up to me and asking me questions like they normally do. And this old man from the back of the theater started working his way forward through the crowd. No, no, that's the okay. king. Just the individual pieces of magic paper. And he worked his way forward through the crowd, and when he got closer to me, he came into the lights, and I looked in the man's face, and that's when I realized that man... Okay, good, you're ready to go. Very good. Good, put that right there. There's one more. Job's not done. Come on, this is Union. How'd you miss her? What's your name, dear? Dude. Now you know, you're never going to miss a gym. <laughs> right here. Very good. Thank you very much. Keeper of the roll, you still with me? With you. Okay, just throw that roll up here, please. Just toss it on up here at the count of three. <laughs> <laughs> This is for you, dear. This is a souvenir piece of magic paper. You have to hold on to that after the show. I'll autograph it for you. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what are you going to do with an individual piece of magic paper? What happens if you got big magic to do? Well, I don't have to take any chances. If you got big magic to do, then I do this. And I thought it was all again. Here, go do some big magic. Thank you very much for coming up here. Thank you, back. Thank you very much.
one of the five drugs you think I'd have memorized. Now I do have a new partner. I was working with Ralph for a long, long time, and I, I got a new partner. His name is Ricky, and this is his first time in front of a real live audience. And I think he's ready for you now. I'd like you all now to give a big round of applause for Ricky. Just a balloon, man. Ricky's kind of new in show business. He hasn't developed that showbiz personality. Let's see if we can help Ricky inflate a little ego here. Yeah? It's a roller coaster ride, huh? Since Ricky is new in show business, he hasn't developed that showbiz personality. So let's see if we can help Ricky paint on a happy face. I just tied myself to the balloon. Is there any happy faces I can borrow out here? Let's see, there's one right there. You, sir, don't move. He's got that big smile. Now we're going to use her eyes, those big, bright eyes. His smile. And I need an ear. Sir, give me a profile, side view. I need an ear. Very good. Right there. Very good. Sir, give me the other ear. It's a little different, but we'll use it anyways. <laughs> Star Trek fan. I think he's ready now for ladies and gentlemen, give a big round of applause for Ricky. Yay. Take it out, Rick. Now, Ricky and I have been working on something very special. Some of you may believe in this, some of you may, ask, may not. Let me ask you. How many of you believe there is such a thing as hypnosis? Raise your hand. How many of you believe there's no such thing as hypnosis? It's all in your head. How many of you think it's stupid to raise your hand? <laughs> three times, just like me. Well, you're about to see me do it. I'm going to hypnotize a balloon. Look at me, Ricky. You're becoming sleepy. You're becoming drowsy. You're becoming lightheaded. Your head's drifting back and forth, back and forth, sleep. Ricky is now in a heightened degree of sensitivity and concentration. At this point, Ricky can follow my every command. Watch. Float Ricky, come down. Works every time. Ricky's also impervious to any pain. Still keeps on smiling. I can tell by your faces some of you still don't believe. Some of you are actually thinking Ricky's faking it. Well, I am prepared to take this test one step farther and present Ricky with the one thing balloons fear the most. Excuse me, Ricky. This is a 22 inch long surgical stainless steel acupuncture needle from Texas. <laughs> Ricky, do you see this needle? I'm going to take this needle and I'm going to prick your skin with it and you're going to feel absolutely no pain. <laughs> No pain, Ricky. Come back here. He's ready now. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I must ask you to cooperate. So if any of you should scream out, wiggle, I wiggle the needle, or Ricky wriggles his head, the results would be awful. There'd be air and balloons spewing out all over the place, stain his shirt. It's a mess. So silence, please, as I take the needle and place it into Ricky. June's going to jump every single time. Right, ten more to go. Very delicate operation. You never know where he'll end up. Sometimes all over the back wall. Let's give Ricky a big round of applause. He did it. Some of you may not have noticed, but Ricky's a redhead. He's only got two of them, but he brushes them every night. Maybe some of you saw him at his other job over by the airport. Hari Krishna Hari. Okay. That joke's getting too damn old. One step far. 
This is what you call an ingrown hair. Ricky's favorite part of the trick, he likes the ride. Let's give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. He did it. Damn. <laughs> we were going to go on the road together. Hey, look, he's still smiling. <laughs> oh, Ricky, you should have quit while you were still ahead. Oh. <laughs> you get the impression I'm just making this up as I go along. Almost forgot. Do a little finger exercise. Everyone can join along. Put your hands together like this. And just roll your fingers out. This is a little finger exercise. Like that. And you go like this. Then you go like this. Do you know what this is? It's a spider doing push-ups on a mirror. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do you know what this is? It's the opposite of this. <laughs> I got grandpa's sense of humor. Take your fingers, go like this. Just slowly be gentle. Just slowly push it up. Oh boy, that's yeah. Never do that when you got a plastic cup in your arm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and now it is. Oh, I want to do this. <laughs> this is really cool. I got this trick at a magic shop today. I said, Is there a magic trick that I can? to uh, do for a whole group of people all at once, teach them how it's done, then the next day they can go to work, show their friends, or impress their boss, get a raise and all that. Use his ordinary things from around the house, like a piece of luggage, and travel light, completely empty, and also contains nothing. You agree? And you get a bottle of soda, Everyone can play along with this. Everyone point your fingers at the bag and say the magic words. Hocus pocus. Bippity boo. If my friend saw me now, I feel like a fool. That makes the bottle disappear. Now here's the cool part. Point your fingers at the bag again. Wiggle your fingers. Say the magic words backwards really fast. He to be he to bump. That makes the bottle come back again. <laughs> no, no, I'll show it empty. We'll do it again. I'll show it. We'll get it. We'll get it this time. Okay. Everyone, point your fingers at the bag. You see the magic words? Hocus pocus. Dippity bull. Tell me now. I feel like a fool. That makes the bottle disappear. Oh, I didn't know you brought a clown in here, Joseph. <laughs> Punch your fingers at the back. Oh, we already made it disappear. So all you need is somebody to look inside. You guys are going to watch this closely or we'll just forget the whole thing. <laughs> Can you run magic? <laughs> and now it's time for the card trick of death. All right, it's just a card trick, but my agent said to spruce up the act. Okay. Now, we've never met before, right, Jessica? <laughs> so, uh, he can help out. He can help out this. I'm going to... She's going to pick a card, you're going to help us find it, all right? Okay, sounds good. I'm going to thumb through the cards, you just say stop, okay? Okay, stop. Before I run out of okay, cards. Okay. Stop. <laughs> We're going to do a card trick. <laughs> that was almost sign language. I'll say go, you say stop, okay? Yeah, ready. I don't know about this. <laughs> you're so eager to scare me. Didn't say go. Very good. He pays attention to rules. Husband. 
<laughs> okay, go. Stop it. You're right there where you had me cut. You take that card, Jessica, look at it, show it to a few people around. I want to witness her. Young lady with the gimpy leg. Take that card, look at it, show it around to a few people over here. You take that card, look at it, show it to a few people around. I'm coming back, Jessica. Don't let me see the card. Say stop. Stop. Put the card back. Put <laughs> stuff on her eyes. <laughs> right where she had me, you stopped there. You put your card right on top there. Did you look at it? Did you show some people? We want witnesses. And we come back over here. We've never met before, right, Sharon? Okay, put your card right back there. The rest of the cards go right on top. This gentleman here is going to be the keeper of the deck. The box I lift up here. No. I said, please don't shuffle them. Be him up. Oh, man, I want to be a hit. Fortunately, I'm not going to use that deck. I'm going to use this one here. A little bit bigger, a little bit easier to see. 52 of my big buddies. And I'm going to use this. My handy dandy jumbo deck holder. This helps pull the cards up away from my hands. So you won't think I'm trying to palm any cards. Okay. This is good. Jessica, do you have a big loud voice? Uh, not really. Do you have any kids? <laughs> Yes, you do. Okay. That's the voice I'm going to want to hear. At the count of three, you're going to call out your card real loud so everyone can hear. At that very same time, I'm going to be waving this gaudy hanky on a stick over the deck. As I do that, your card's going to work its way magically forwards in the deck and end up in front of the old nine of clubs here. In front of the queen here. I'm going to do it like I rehearsed. You ready? All right. Big loud voice. One, two, three. Call out your card. Two of clubs. My mom always said, never trust the queen of hearts. It wasn't my dad or a country song. I can't remember. Second card, young lady, what is your name? Joni. Joni, you got a big loud voice? Yes. Yeah. All right, at the count of three, one, two, three, call it the card. Three to heart. Piece of junk. <laughs> Shouldn't have gone to Hollywood magic. <laughs> call out that card again. It's coming. Three to heart. Oh, pretty cool, huh? Okay, Sharon. Yes. Sorry to wake you. Sharon, yes. this is what we're going to do. I mean, I am At the count of three, you're going to call out your card, okay? Okay. Oh, wait a minute. We didn't get your two, did we, Jessica? So I tell you what, Sharon, we're going to use her two. Whatever your card is, you're going to divide it by two. So if it's the eight of clubs, it's the four of clubs. If it's the ten of hearts, it's the five of hearts. Just cut it in half. You ready? In a big, loud voice. One, two, three, call out your card. You picked the eight of clubs? Yeah. You picked the eight of clubs? So was it seven? So was it seven? Did you look at the card you picked? <laughs> <laughs> so it was a seven. He said it was a seven. It was yeah. seven, so you just divide that in half and you... Yeah. 3.5. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a technical difficulty. The card I happen to have in my hand right now happens to be the three and a half of clubs. Thank you very much. You've been a great artist. You guys have a great evening.
Another nice round of applause for our birthday boy.